Hello everyone, Jack here. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to take a look at the ZAP IDE. Now ZAP stands for Zipuino Arduino Papilio and it's an IDE we put together that allows you to run sketches on both the Zipuino and the AVR8 soft processors that in turn run on the Papilio FPGA hardware. Um, now it's it's cool because it's the first time we've integrated the two soft processors into one IDE and this is of course all based on the Arduino IDE uh, and today we're going to take you on a quick overview of how it works and how you would run a quick start sketch on both of the soft processors. So to get started the first thing we want to do is select which soft processor we're going to use. Let's start with the AVR8. So we go to board and we choose um, a board we have a Papilio Pro and we're going to use the Shifty AVR8 variant so we select that next thing we need to do is make sure our serial port is uh, correct and right now I don't have the AVR8 or I'm sorry I don't have the Papilio Pro connected so let me plug it in real quick and we should see the serial port that we need come up so COM4 is what we need uh, so next we go to examples and the nice thing about this IDE is it separates out the examples based on which board you've selected. So since we selected the AVR8 we're only seeing the AVR8 examples and what we want is the Papilio quick start. Okay so we have the uh, quick start and all we have to do is hit upload and uh, for the AVR8 this takes a little while because it's generating the bit file but it should be you know 20 30 seconds or so uh, what this sketch is going to do is it's going to output a ASCII text uh, so we hit the serial monitor and we see the ASCII text so great so that sketch is running on the AVR8 at this point uh, so let's try the next thing. Let's move to the ZPUino and run it on the ZPUino. So all we have to do to do that is go to board. We're going to select the ZPUino 1.0 and uh, we have a Papilio Pro so we need to select one of the Papilio Pro variants and any of the Hyperion variants will work for this or actually any variant will work for this generic sketch that we're running. So um, the next thing we need to do for the Papilio Pro, or I'm sorry, for the ZPU we know, is we need to ensure that the programmer is set to the Papilio programmer, and then we burn the bootloader. And what this does for us is it's actually loading the ZPU we know soft processor, the bit file, to the uh, our board. It used to be that you'd have to do a separate step for this. You'd have to go to the web page download the ZPU Uno soft processor, burn it to your board before you could run your sketch. Now we've integrated it all into one place uh, to make it that much easier. So we see that it did successfully program the ZPU Uno bit file. So now we just need to access our example sketch and you can see the libraries and the examples have changed to reflect that we have a ZPU Uno now. So let's do the quick start again. Okay, this is just very slightly different, and we'll upload it. And this is actually faster on the ZPU Uno because we've already loaded the soft processor bit soft processor bit file. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the serial monitor, and we're seeing our ASCII table. So um, there we have it. It's that easy to run sketches on both of the soft processor types with the Zap IDE. Now, one of the other uh, cool things to know is if you have selected the ZPU Uno type and you're looking at the examples and say you want to run one of the VGA examples the hello world one uh, when there is a special variant that's needed for any of the examples we put what type of variant it requires in the header so this says we need the Hyperion which has the H quarter VGA adapter built into it so in order to run this sketch we would simply need to go to a board and select a ZPU Uno board type that has the Hyperion variant. So in this case, we have the option of running Hyperion on an Arcade Mega Wing or on a Logic Start Mega Wing. Or if we have a Papilio 1500K, we have the same options, one for the Arcade, Logic Start, or the pin select is for uh, any type of hardware if you have your own custom VGA 
solution or you have a VGA wing then, wing, then you'd use the pin select option. So that's it. That wraps it up. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope this is useful. Thank you. Bye.